Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and I'm bringing you the Bok Barometer for week 4 of Super Rugby. There is a few changes but not too many, so let's get into that quickly. At number 15, Apalile Fassi remains uh, in his position. He's been really good for the Sharks and really consistently in that number 15 berth. At 14, you have Cornell Hendricks replacing Tyron Green who didn't play on the weekend. I think Cornell Hendricks were pretty good in the loss against the Blues. His decision making were a lot better and his running lines also pretty good in that game. At number 13, Ruanel finally uh, gets the place alone with Lukanya Am not playing this weekend. So really deservingly for him as well. At number 12, Andre Esterazen remains for a second week. He was massive in that victory over the Rebels and his leadership really came through. In number 11, you've got Makazolo Mapimpi replacing Sibelo Sanatla. Mapimpi didn't play last week, but I mean he's been consistently the best number 11 in South Africa at the moment and racking up some really uh, good tries for the Sharks and playing really well. At number 10, Kervin Bosch comes in for Elton Yankees, who also didn't play last week. Um, Bosch really had a good game. He controlled um, the general kicking and delivery to the backline pretty well. And I think he's one of the most valuable players in the Shark lineup at the moment, controlling everything that goes on there. At number 9, Herschel Yankees comes back um, to retain his place after I couldn't uh, decide between Masimla and Van der Berg last week. I think Herschel Yankees is one of those special players in South Africa at the moment really delivering everything needed from a scrum off. At 8, Jano Augustus keeps his place at number 8. He's looking really solid with uh, ball in hand and really looking good. At 7, Peter Steff the Tway still untouchable at 7. Nobody coming near his rate, his tackle rate is high, his ball carrying ability is great, everything. At 6, uh, James Fenter finally gets the nod over um, Marnus Kuman, who didn't play on the weekend. I think James Fenter has been really exceptional for the Sharks. Um, newcomer coming through and he's really looking like a good prospect for the future for South African rugby. At 5, J.D. Strickering comes in for Chris Van Sale, um, who just swapped positions. I think J.D. had a really strong game um, for the Stormers along with the rest of the back of the Stormers. Um, really looking strong and his ball carrying ability is really good and line out options good. Salman uh, Murat replaces Ruben Skuman as well who didn't play on the weekend. But I think um, Murat has really almost cemented his place in that number 4 berth at the moment. He's been really consistently good for the Stormers and I will be surprised if he gets a call up later. At number 3, Thomas de Tue replaces Volko Lowe. Finally, someone else apart from the Storm's prop forwards. Um, I think Thomas de Tue had a really strong game against the Rebels. Um, he's also one of those players that needs needed to step up and he did a really good job at that. At number 2, Skaran Tubeni uh, re retains his place. He's been really good and solid in the place of Funambi. And he's really one of those experienced players you need. At number one, Steven Kutsov, same as the two, untouchable at the moment. Really two of the players that's really standing out for South Africa at the moment. So guys, that's my team. Leave a comment, tell me what you guys think of it. Until the next time, cheers for now.